Before we close, I am sharing few real life scenarios where you can visualize the application of ANOVA. These statistical tools are very powerful in helping us with the data based decision making. So more we practice, more adept we become in its application. First is a scene we all go through on a daily basis. While on road, we all have to wait at one or the other traffic signal. So the average waiting time on various traffic signals in your area can be the response factor. Here we don't mean the traffic signal timing, but our waiting time depending on the traffic. So this can be used for one-way ANOVA. For two-way ANOVA, we can add the second factor by choosing different modes of communication like if you are traveling by car, bike or any other mode. Second most common thing can be when we call the toll free numbers or the customer care numbers of various services we avail. So the average time to reach a customer care agent while calling into these customer care centers for let's say banks or telecom service providers in our city can be the response time. The different service providers like the banks or telecom we choose to study becomes the factor. Similarly, we can use the pollution levels at different times in a day like 8 am, 12 noon, 5 pm at different junctions. We can study the change in body temperature pre and post the exercise. We can add indoor or outdoor or let's say different times in a day as the second factor. The delivery time for pizza or online grocery by different service providers in different parts of your city can be one more case. Patient registration time in various hospitals in your city can be one more scenario. So you can visualize a study around these and apply ANOVA in such cases. It will always help to internalize the learnings in a much much better way. So that brings us to an end of the final session of this tutorial. I hope this video was useful. We would always be delighted to see your likes, comments and mails as we consider you an integral part of our learning endeavor. Keep watching this space as we plan to host more learning videos on concepts from DMAC, Lean, DFSS, Re-Engineering, Theory of Constraints, BPM and Operations Research. Please do subscribe to the page and keep receiving updates as and when we upload a new tutorial. Do share the links or channel details in your group so we end up creating a much larger learning community. In case you want us to talk about any specific concept, feel free to contact us. The contact details are mentioned here on the slide as well as on the page. So good luck and happy learning.